Hello guys, welcome to another video feature of Sitemis on Corsi. In today's system of play, we're going to be discussing the 4-2-3-1 formation. This formation is an easy formation and is easy to teach players. In this formation, there is four defenders, two holding midfielders, three attackers and one striker up front as a lone striker. So there is four different lines in this formation. Once again, it is an easy formation to teach. There is in this formation two wing backs, one defensive defender who can play long balls, another defender, central defender, who can run up with the ball into the midfield area. Then we have two central defensive midfielders, three attackers. These three attackers could be three tens, creative midfielders, or it could be two wide players that are very good at 1v1 dribbling and a number 10 in the middle who's the creative player and then the lone striker up front. The teams that have been using this formation at the World Cup have been Argentina and Japan and also Liverpool like to use this formation in the English Premier League. Now, what are the strengths of the 4-2-3-1? The one main strength of the 4-2-3-1 is that there is width and depth on the field. The width is being provided by the fullbacks and the left and right midfielder and then the depth is being provided by the striker the lone striker up front whenever any player is in possession of the ball with this formation there is always a triangle passing option so there's always these triangles on the field so there's always three possible passes that this player can pass the ball to depending on which part of the field he's on this formation is great because we attack with six players and we can also defend with six players so it gives us very good balance also because there's four players always high up the pitch we can really do fantastic counter attacks with this formation and there is a specialized player who is a playmaker as a number 10 those are the strengths of this formation what are the negatives of this formation well if the two holding midfielders are in the same line then the opposition team can easily break passes if these two are sitting flat. So the passes can easily go in between the lines with this formation. Another disadvantage of this formation is because it's the lone striker, it's very difficult to press the opposition. As we saw also in the game between Argentina and Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia played the first half very high up the pitch, so they compressed the space not allowing players like Di Maria, Messi to penetrate through dribbling. So it was very compressed. So if you play high up the pitch on a high line defense and you comp make the space compressed and you play on the offside trap, then it's very difficult to execute the 4-2-3-1 formation because when the killer pass is played to the striker, often the striker is going to be in an offside position if the defensive team is playing a high line. And that is the characteristics and the strengths and weaknesses of a 4-2-3-1 formation. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for more content.